Hello everyone. Today they posted an image of the upcoming hero on their official Twitter account, and it's the fighter hero Byron. He will be available on 9th of June. Byron is a versatile warrior hero of Honor of Kings, who excels in various aspects like fighting, displacement, damage, control, recovery, and shields. His skills are a combination of Wuyan and Kai, providing a well-rounded toolkit. Byron's gameplay is not too difficult and he can hold his own in battles. When Byron hits an enemy with his weapon, his passive skill triggers. It generates electricity and charges up. He can recover energy points by hitting heroes, non-heroes, or using skills. The maximum energy he can store is 90 points. When Byron has 30 or more energy points, his basic attacks become stronger, dealing extra physical damage and restoring his own health. Using an enhanced skill consumes 30 energy points but grants additional benefits. Notably, Byron's energy doesn't decrease over time when he's not in combat. When using Byron's first skill, he swings his weapon forward and horizontally twice, hitting enemies. Each swing deals physical damage, and the amount of damage depends on the skill's level. The damage is increased by Byron's physical bonus, which represents his physical attack power. The higher the skill level, the more damage it deals. Moreover, every time Byron hits an enemy with this skill, he restores a percentage of the enemy's lost health as well as his own health. The percentage of lost health restored increases with the skill's level. Additionally, the amount of health restored is influenced by Byron's physical bonus. When Byron has 30 or more energy points, the skill gets enhanced. The damage of each swing increases significantly, and the amount of health restored is also boosted. This enhancement allows Byron to deal more damage and recover more health with his swings, providing a stronger impact in battle. Overall, Byron's first skill allows him to unleash two powerful horizontal swings, dealing damage to enemies and restoring health for both himself and his targets. When charged with sufficient energy, the skill becomes even more potent, dealing increased damage and providing greater health recovery. When Byron uses his second skill, he charges forward, damaging any enemies in his path. The amount of damage depends on the skill's level and is increased by Byron's physical bonus, which represents his physical attack power. After the charge, Byron's next basic attack becomes stronger. The basic attack deals physical damage, depends on the skill level. Additionally, the enemy hit by the enhanced basic attack will be slowed down by 50% for 2 seconds. When Byron has 30 or more energy points, the basic attack gets further enhanced. The damage of the enhanced basic attack increases significantly. Moreover, the locked target will be knocked up and stunned for 1 second followed by a one-second slowdown of 50%. Releasing the first enhanced basic attack consumes 30 energy points. In summary, Byron's second skill allows him to dash forward, damaging enemies in his path. The subsequent basic attack becomes stronger, dealing more damage and slowing down the target. When charged with sufficient energy, the enhanced basic attack becomes even more devastating, knocking up and stunning the victim while inflicting higher damage and an extended slowdown effect. When Byron uses his ultimate skill, he slams his weapon to the ground, causing damage to enemies in the area of effect. The amount of damage depends on the skill's level and is increased by Byron's physical bonus, representing his physical attack power. Additionally, the enemies hit by the slam are slowed down by 50% for 1.5 seconds. Simultaneously, Byron generates a shield to protect himself. The shield value is determined by the skill's level, providing temporary additional health points. The shield lasts for 6 seconds, offering protection against incoming damage. When Byron has 30 or more energy points, the skill becomes enhanced. The damage of the ground slam increases significantly, and the shield value is also boosted. Additionally, an arc is created, dealing damage to enemy units caught within its range. The damage inflicted by the arc depends on Byron's physical bonus. Moreover, for each hero hit by the arc, Byron steals movement speed from them and gains it for himself. The amount of movement speed stolen and gained increases with the skill's level. It's worth noting that the range of the arc expands as Byron's third skill levels up, allowing it to affect a wider area. In summary, Byron's ultimate skill enables him to slam his weapon into the ground, damaging enemies in the area 
slowing them down and generating a shield to protect himself. When charged with enough energy, the skill becomes more powerful, dealing increased damage, providing a stronger shield, creating an arc that damages enemies and steals movement speed, and expanding its range as Byron's skill level increases. In summary, Byron's gameplay style revolves around being a well-rounded warrior with recovery, displacement, and shielding abilities. He can handle non-displacement marksmen effectively, but may face difficulties against highly mobile opponents. To overcome this, using the Flash Summoner skill is best for better mobility and positioning. Overall, Byron is one of the top fighters of Honor of Kings, and you will have tons of fun playing him. This is just an introductory video of Byron. If you want me to make an in-depth guide for him, like the Ukyo Tachibana guide video, let me know in the comment section. And that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to. And as always, thank you for watching.